average velocity. In average velocity, we just compute or determine the speed or the velocity of an object it covers at an elapsed time. But for example, in a race, starting from the starting point to its final or finish line, we can compute for its average velocity. But how can we solve for the velocity of the racer at any given time? So that we can solve using instantaneous velocity, where from the word instant, meaning we can get the velocity of an object at any instant of time. Remember the graph we had in average velocity. To solve for velocity at time, let's say, at time T1, we have to bring the second point very close to have a difference between time and position very small. Or in calculus term, we limit the ratio of displacement with respect to time. Or in formula, we have V is equal to the limit of displacement over elapsed time as elapsed time is approaches zero. Or equal to the derivative of position with respect to time. So I'm going to have a correction here. The formula for instantaneous velocity, or the symbol rather, for instantaneous velocity is B. While for average velocity, we're going to have a subscript of AVE. So we could distinguish the difference between instantaneous and average velocity when we're going, where we're, we're, when solving, when we're solving. <laughs> so again, instantaneous velocity, we're getting the velocity of an object at any instant of time by doing, limiting that the ratio of displacement with respect to time or getting the derivative of position with respect to time. So let's have an example. A car is stopped at a traffic light. It then travels along a straight road so that its distance from the light is given by x of t is equal to bt squared minus ct cubed, where b is equal to 230 meter per second squared and c equal to 0 0.120 meter per second cubed. A, calculate the average velocity of the car for the time interval of t is equal to zero to t equal to 5.0 uh, seconds. B, derive an expression for the car's instantaneous velocity 
to calculate for the instantaneous velocity of the car at time 0, time 5 seconds, and time 10 seconds. And see how long after starting from rest is the car again at rest. So let's have the given. We have the function of time equal to b t squared minus c t cubed where b is equal to 240 meter per second squared c is equal to 0 0.1 to zero meter per second cube. Our first problem. Getting the average velocity at time interval of zero seconds. to five seconds. So first let's solve for the position at time zero. So substitute the value of time at the given function. Therefore, we're going to have initial position of zero. Second, the position at time 5 seconds. So we're going to substitute the value of B and C and the value of time, which is 5 seconds. So we have X of 5 is equal to B, which is 240 meter per second cube times T, which is 5 second squared minus C, 0 0.2 zero meter per second cube time t five second cube so simplify we have 240 times five is squared six hundred six thousand meter and the second will be cancelled minus 0 0.120 0 times 5 cube minus 15 meter. Therefore, we have position of Five hundred nine thousand nine hundred eighty five meter. So the average velocity is equal to displacement over elapsed time 5,985 minus 0 over 5 seconds minus 0 therefore we have 1,197 meter per seconds letter b get the expression for instantaneous velocity so the expression for instantaneous velocity is v is equal to derivative of displacement with respect to time so we have 
derivative of 240 derivative of b t squared minus c t cubed with respect to time therefore our expression is to be t minus 3 c t squared and now let's get the first velocity at time zero seconds so substituting the, the value of time of zero therefore we're going to have velocity of zero for the second value of time which is five seconds so we have five So we have, uh, I'm going to erase this one. So, so our velocity will, it should be in function. So we have function of time. So B of T equal to 2B T minus 3 C T squared. Okay, so let's continue. For time 5 seconds, our velocity is 2, so shoot the value of B, which is 240. Meter per second squared times T of 5 seconds minus 3, C is 0 0.12 meter cube meter seconds cube times five seconds squared therefore b of five or the velocity at five seconds is equal to Two thousand three hundred ninety one meter per seconds. And lastly, we have ten seconds. So substitute the value, 2 times 240 meter per second squared times 10 seconds minus 3 times 0 0.12 meter per second cube times 10 second squared. So we have 4,755 meter per seconds. Oh, sorry. Mali ako ng calculation. It's 4,764 meter per second. So guys, always check your calculation before boxing your final answer. Hirap kumita. 
Okay. So now, let's solve for letter C. I'm going to delete the first part of the problem. Okay. So letter C tayo. So how long after starting from rest is the car again at rest? So we're looking for time at which point will the velocity will come to rest or equal to zero. So using our expression b of t equal to 2bt minus 3c t squared, we'll substitute the, the velocity with 0. So we have 0, 2bt minus 3c t squared. And substitute the value of b and c. So we have 0 is equal to 2 times 240. So we're just going to exclude the unit. So to minimize the space. So we have 3. And simplify. So we have... Four eighty zero point one two zero point thirty six t squared. Okay, so solve for t. So divided both sides by 0 0.36 T. So we can have T is equal to 1,333.33 and unit is seconds. Okay, so therefore... We have here the time it takes for the velocity to have rest or the car to come in rest again. Okay, so now let's check our understanding by solving this problem. And again, your answer must be posted in the comment section.